Oh, good morning and welcome back to my plein air painting channel. My name is Kyle Martin and we're standing out here in a field between Rock Springs and North Freedom, Wisconsin. Well, it's June Dairy Month and it's a celebration of our friends, the farmers. And a big part of a dairy operation is feeding the cattle. And one thing that you can feed your cows is hay. And I have a lot of experience baling hay. And we didn't make the round bales like what we're seeing right behind me. We made square bales and stacked them onto a wagon and then unloaded them into the hay mow of the barn. And a lot of times we would bale and unload three or four, maybe even five wagons of hay in a day. And that's a lot of manual labor. First of all, you have to go out and cut the hay, let the hay lay for a while and dry out in the sun. Then you have to go back with a rake and rake the hay up into windrows. And then you have to come back and bale it. And while you're baling, you need to have somebody driving the tractor and you need to have a second person standing on the wagon stacking the hay up. Then, after you've been out in the field all afternoon, maybe the next morning, you have to go out with a couple of people, put an elevator up into the hay mow, load the hay onto the elevator, and restack it up in the hay mow. So that takes two or three people as well. It seems like these round bales that are right behind me are a lot more popular in the world today because it doesn't take all that manpower to create these sort of bales. What it does take is bigger equipment to move these bales around. You know, a regular hay bale maybe weighs 30, 40 pounds, but one of these, I'm not sure what it weighs, but one person can't obviously lift it on their own. I'm kind of thankful that these round bales are sitting out the, in the field today because it's given me a great subject to paint from. The thing that drew me to this scene is that I have a very specific foreground. You know, I have this nicely lit up hay bale right here in the foreground. Then I have some middle ground. There's a hay bale way down towards that tree line, and that tree line could be considered middle ground. And then I have some atmospheric background. There's Abelman's Gorge back there, and I have, I actually have a view of the co-op back there, although I don't know if that will be a part of my painting or not. So foreground, middle ground, background. Sometimes it's good to think about landscape painting in terms of showing atmosphere or distance. And I'm gonna be able to do that today. And one way to show distance is to have something in the foreground. So let's get started this morning. Just vlogging while the farmers are driving by and let's get this painting started. Well, I observed the scene looking through these red lens glasses, which took away the color information and let me see it only in terms of contrast, of dark and light. And this is the sketch that I made. And now that I have broken this scene down into its most simplified version, I think I really have an interesting subject to paint from, and I'm very excited to get going. You can see the lightest thing that I have is that lit up side of the hay bale out there and the sky the ground where the hay has been cut is the second lightest thing these longer the longer alfalfa or hay is a little bit darker than that i'm sorry i need a new set of markers you can't really see even the lit part of the trees are much darker than anything on the ground plane and then we have some deep and dark shadows for all those values and shapes that i just talked about I'm really consolidating and compressing things down so that I have shapes to work with. I paint with shapes. I don't paint trees. I paint the shapes of the trees. And that's an interesting way to work. It's kind of my way of working. Everybody does things differently. And that style of painting kind of ex exists somewhere between abstract and realism. So let's get started on the canvas.
I took some time to carefully mix my paints. These are Val Hues. It's a combination of value and hue. Value referring to the relative lightness and darkness of a color and hue referring to the color. I have little marks on my drawing. This is a, a two. That's a 20% value on the ground plane. And here is that 20% value that I've mixed here. I checked it and made sure that it was a 20% value on my value palette. So now it's time to fly on this painting because these clouds are rolling in and the morning light is dissolving. friend of mine John just pulled up on his four-wheeler he gave me two dozen eggs he said he's got eggs coming out of his ears and I really appreciated him stopping by and saying hi boy now we're gonna have eggs for a couple weeks here and he said that they're unwashed and I think that what that means is that they can be non-refrigerated um, because they have not been washed, but oh, there goes my umbrella. I'm just gonna keep working here. Okay, I'm getting to the point where my initial statement is on the canvas, and now I need to repaint every area. What I mean by that is that I need to, I have all of my shapes that I defined on my sketch painted on the canvas at this point and now I need to go back through and redefine all my shape. I'm going to step back and take a minute just to look at what I have going on here and then I'm going to look at the whole scene backwards in a mirror and that's going to guide my decisions moving forward. It's going to show me not only the areas that need attention but it's also going to show me the ways in which I can refine and redefine the colors that I've stated here. So every shape that I have is going to be broken into a few smaller shapes at this point. And hopefully I'm going to repaint the whole canvas one more time with some smaller and smaller shapes. And from there, I'll just refine the areas that I feel need re refinement and then I'll finish it up.
The painting is done and it's time for me to head home. This is what we came up with for the painting. You can see these bales in the foreground. The field kind of heads backwards. We have another little hay bale right there. We have our middle ground tree line and our background hills and that brilliant blue-green sky. And I kind of needed to get a decent painting done this morning. We've been on vacation for the past five days. And while I did paint a little bit on vacation, you know, that's, that's more family time than it is to be heading out into the field and, and doing a lot of painting. So it's back to work today and it's beautiful out here. It's a beautiful thing to be outside. I'm enjoying the landscape. I'm enjoying the breeze. It's very hot today, but I'm enjoying the breeze. And as it always happens, there's always a story when you come out of the field. Today, I got, a, I got to catch up with my friend John and, um, and I'm two dozen eggs richer in my life. I'll make an omelet for lunch when I get home. And speaking of home, that's where I'm headed. So thanks so much for being here for this painting. I wanted to capture some atmosphere this morning, and I think I did that. So, so long. This is going to be, and by the way, the clouds rolled in, so I was smart getting out painting right away at 8 o'clock this morning. Because if I hadn't, I might not be out painting just because of these clouds. So, we'll do this again soon. Thanks so much for being here. GoPro, stop recording.